legendary Bo Angles. Hey everyone, this is a big one. We've finally compiled all of the questions asked about the ocean update during our Q&A livestream with Andrew the Fishing Planet Dev. So instead of a two hour live stream, I'm going to do my best to compress this all down for you in the shortest amount of time as possible. So do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Number one, will there be tuna, sharks, etc.? What are the species for the new location in other words? There are several new species coming out, tuna, amberjack, marlin, and others. Six new species of tuna, 18 species of fish in total, plus the squid that they plan to be used as bait with updates following the ocean maps release. Fishing Planet wanted me to also let you know that they will be posting a dev diary soon dedicated to the fish species of the new locations that you will be able to see and find out all about them in more detail. Number two, what level will the location be unlocked at? Level 83. Number three, what is the new level cap with the update? Level 90. Number four, will everyone on the boat share a keep net, boat keep net, XP boost per person, etc.? There will be a common storage on the boat, so players won't need to take their own keep nets with them. Everyone will have their own space in the common storage. I'm going to translate this as, say for example, the boat can hold 4,000 pounds of fish. Each of the four people on the boat could split that evenly four ways at a thousand pounds each before having to move on to the next day. Number five, will there be a new ocean monster? Will it be the Megalodon? There will be an ocean monster fish. Most likely there will be more than one monster fish, but it will be released in updates following the initial release on the location. Threat, no information on that Megalodon. Maybe someday. Number six, will you be able to craft your own bait, customized lures, all that? Yes, this is definitely in the plans. In a future update, following the release of the ocean, we will start with crafting bait from squid caught in the ocean and then begin to add more with future updates. Number seven, will there be a a VR version of the game added at some point. Now, Andre did mention that this game was possible to play in VR, however, it does not have a VR specific version that's being produced. Fishing Planet says they would not like to dismiss the possibility of a VR version being produced someday, but it's not in the nearest future, and it depends on the market. Number eight, will there be ocean storms that cause rough waves? To maintain weather that is suitable for fishing, we don't plan on adding huge storms, which I can understand Understand. Nothing like spending a bunch of money to go to a location only for it to have awful weather the entire time. <laughs> Number nine, can you use your current boats on the ocean? No, because the sizes, specs, and capabilities of saltwater and freshwater boats are very different. But in future updates, they say they are planning to add the fishing together feature for all the other bass boats currently available in the game. So you will be able to fish with your friends on the same boat as St. Croix, for instance, which will be sweet. Number 10, will the ocean location be added to mobile? Yes, absolutely. Number 11, will the release dates differ between PC, console, and mobile? As always, there will be different release dates for different platforms, but they will be close to each other. And now a big one, number 12, what is the release date? Fishing Planet says they anticipated to be coming in the latter part of spring, so maybe April or May, but they mentioned that they are choosing to tell us this time frame to help control expectations. This is a very complex update with several Several big new features being released with the new location and they are doing everything within their power to bring the release date sooner than expected but at the same time they want to make sure that they're not rushing anything so that it all comes together the way they want it to be they say it will be released when they are satisfied with the result because their players deserve the best which is honestly fantastic to hear because for one there are so many people out there who are not a high enough level to even fish here if they wanted to and two it's become such an industry standard over the past few years to push out incomplete games to gather some funding before pushing out the finishing touches, and it's nice to see that this expansion will be finished correctly before it's released. Number 13, how do you purchase or use the ocean boats to fish? There will be a rental boat available for in-game money, and there will also be a DLC boat, but both boats will come with the fishing together feature. Number 14, how will we know where the fish are in the ocean? You will be able to use sonar via your fish finder like in real life and there will be other signs that you will be able to read to find fish such as jumping fish and flocks of birds 
Number 15. Can you fish with your friends on the same boat? The rental boat will have fish together capacity for two players. The DLC boat, on the other hand, will allow for four players, a host plus three friends. Regardless of the boat, there will be two rod holders for each player on the boat, plus everyone will be able to hold on to one rod in their hands. Number 16. What new rods and reels and lures are being added in the game with this update? There will be electric reels as well as special rods for trolling. Andrew also told us that there would be specific equipment for catching squid, and we got to see a number of these in previous videos, but they say we will find out more about them in Dev Diaries where they will show more detail on new tackles and equipment. Number 17. How does trolling work? You will be able to cast your rods in the water and put them into rod holders. After that, the captain will then drive the boat slowly, and this way the baits will be dragged behind attracting fish. So, you know, basic trolling. Number 18. Will we ever have a clubhouse or trophy lodge to show our catches? This is a good idea, and we are considering it for a future update. Number 19. Will we see more races, ages, and options in the character creation screen? We have that in our plans. Number 20. Will there be a jigging retrieve added to the UI? At the moment, they say this is not something they're considering. Number 21. Will there be ocean tides like low tide, high tide, and currents? For now, they're not planning on this feature. Number 22. Will you ever run out of gas on your boat, forcing you to drift to an island and fight to survive, naming a volleyball and growing your hair out, possibly doing dental procedures on yourself? This is all a great idea, but no, not in this iteration. Number 23. What biomes will the ocean map have? We will show more details on the location in upcoming dev diaries. Number 24. Any new plans on netting animations? You will be able to use the landing net like you can now, and a gaff may be implemented in the future, but it will most likely just be an animation. Number 25. How many DLCs will be released with the location? Traditionally, we have two DLCs, but we may consider releasing more due to the size of the map. Number 26. Will there ever be crossplay added to Fishing Planet? Unfortunately, it is currently not possible. Number 27. Will there be any fun shops at the dock? It's a good idea, and we're considering this for future updates. Number 28. Will there be new competitions at the ocean location? Yes, for sure. Number 29. Will boats ever have club flags, etc.? We plan to work on skins in the future. This will include different skins for boats and club skins. Number 30. Will there be different leaderboards for ocean fishing? Not with the initial release of the ocean location, but it is a good idea. Number 31. Ice fishing, fly fishing, will it ever be added? Not anytime soon, but we will be considering it for the future. What is the size of the map, and how does that compare to the current largest location? The ocean location is over 20 square kilometers, and it's much larger than the current largest map in Fishing Planet. Number 33. Any plans for cast nets? Not at the moment. Number 34. Will there be fishing frenzies with improved bite rates? No, not planning on this feature for now. Number 35. How many people will be able to join the new location? at the same time. If you join the location with your friends for fishing together, you will get with them in the room, separate from everyone else. If you get into a random room, most likely there will be up to 10 people. The more other players you see in the game, the more RAM and other resources you need for your device to process all that information. And so we cannot make this number very high to make sure players maintain smooth performance, including on mobile devices. Number 36. Will there ever be NPCs, animated fish boats, etc. added to the ocean map to give it life? Yes, there will be ships, regattas, whales, dolphins jumping out of the water, etc. We will tell and show more about this in future dev diaries. Number 37. Will there be new clothing and tackle boxes coming with this new location? Yes, absolutely. Number 38. How many rod holders will be on the boat? The biggest boat will have eight rod holders, two for each player. I assume this means that for the rental boat, you'll have four rod holders, two for each player as well. Number 39. Will anyone on the boat be able to drive or just the renter of the boat? Only the captain can drive the boat, but the captain title can be transferred to other players during their fish together session, so you can take turns driving the boat if you'd like to. Number 40. Will you be able to help your friends reel in their catch or net or gaff their fish. For now, they're not planning on this feature. Number 41. What will the ocean waves be like? Will they rock the boat? They will. There will certainly be a feeling of sailing in the open ocean waters, but the players should feel safe. 
And with that last question answered, that should wrap up everything that we discussed during our first Q&A. Hopefully your question was answered, but if it wasn't, like Fishing Planet mentioned, they do plan on releasing Dev Diaries on their social media to give more information. And as you heard from Andrew, we should be having another Q&A session together within the next few months. So as per usual, like, subscribe for more news in the future if you haven't already. We recently changed our live streams to Wednesday nights only from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m central time and i'm hoping that with it only being once a week more people will make more of an effort to come and socialize and have a good time plus it will give me more time to work on videos behind the scenes as well but i hope you enjoyed the video hopefully your questions were answered and if they weren't feel free to comment them down below so that maybe fishing planet can see your comments and answer them in a dev diary or just look forward to the next q a session everybody take care and we'll see you in the next episode and as always remember everyone we're one planet, one family, game on.